Ba Dam. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the foods that I eat to stay in shape. I just went to Costco yesterday, so I've got to show you some of the things I picked up. What's going on guys and gals? Chris with the Body Damn channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I bought from Costco yesterday. And uh, it's the stuff that I eat on an almost you know, everyday basis. It definitely helps with gains, you know, if you want to lose weight, um, all that kind of stuff, muscle retention. So check out these finds. All right, here in Costco in Austin, Texas, we have these. This is an amazing, amazing uh, soup. I really, really like it. I believe it's about like nine bucks for the case. There's six cans in here. We have basically organic vegetable soup. Now, a lot of people are gonna say like, you know, isn't canned food bad for you? Uh, you know, not really. I mean, it's always preferable to get as fresh of vegetables as you can. Maybe not kill them with a ton of heat, you know, if you saute them or whatever, or if you're going to grill them. But at the same time, you know, a low calorie meal at the end of the day is definitely good. You really don't wanna start getting heavy on your meals towards the latter part of the day, especially when it comes to trying to sleep, you definitely don't want your metabolism all spiked up before that. So right around the evening time, I really try to convert a lot of my stuff towards lower calorie options, leaner meats, and uh, you know a lot more vegetables. So I do stuff like this, or I'll do sweet potatoes, um, but I like this a lot. It's 180 calories for one can, which is very, very low in a soup land. So I bought this. Greek yogurt, this is an absolute staple for making smoothies or getting a perfect midday snack. Um, for midday snack, you know, you can just take this with some agave nectar and some frozen blueberries. Voila, you have a perfect snack. Or if you want a little bit more carbs, you can put a banana in there. But this, for smoothies, will definitely add to the creaminess of the smoothie. And honestly, like one serving of this, 23 grams of protein in a cup. That's crazy. If you think about it, that's absolutely nuts. So organic Greek yogurt. It's also known as Faye yogurt, F-A-G-E. But uh, definitely get yourself into this. It's an absolute staple. Okay, so I discussed that we put bananas in the smoothies, of course. But, you know, you, if you don't want a smoothie or anything like that, you can still do bananas with some sunflower butter on it. Um, if you want a nice, like, little midday snack. But I like to err, err on the side of a little bit more protein. So that's the reason why I do the yogurt, which is sitting right here. But bananas are real good. Um, I don't necessarily go for organic bananas when I'm at Costco, even though they have them there. Um, they cost about 60% more, and since the banana skin is super, super thick, I really don't think like I need to be getting organic versions of this. But I got some bananas, and if you're wondering like, man, my bananas always spoil, or they get, you know, turn weird colors, and then I eventually have to throw them in the trash. When they start to turn, you know, spotty and stuff like that, and you can't get to them, peel them, throw them into a Ziploc bag, and throw them in your freezer. And that way, instead of using ice on your smoothie, you can use a frozen banana, which is really good. Super, super awesome hack right there. Egg whites, okay, very, very important. I always have these on deck. Um, they're very convenient. They're really convenient when friends come over and stuff and you wanna build a really good high protein meal. So cage-free egg whites, every now and then when I'm in a bulking phase, I'll go with cage-free egg whites with actual organic eggs as well to get some yolks in there. But uh, right now, I'm on a maintenance kind of thing, so egg whites and inside of here, we've got these little tiny like milk container looking things. And these uh, have about 50 grams of protein in each one. Of course, if you try to, you know, skillet the entire thing, you're probably gonna lose about five grams of protein just in the random edges or just due to heat. So um, I would think about 45 grams in each one of these. And uh, I try to get, you know, on every meal or every breakfast that I use, I try to get about 35 to 40 grams. So I try to estimate that. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of them in here. And I always try to have about two boxes on hand at any given time because you know, you can really blast through these, especially with people coming over and um, yeah, so there we go, cage-free egg whites. You know, sometimes you wanna have a snack uh, in the evening time or maybe during the day. A really good snack to have that's tasty as well, just chips and salsa, right? And if you wanna add some protein to that, I would suggest low-fat cottage cheese. So here are the chips that, you know, typical kind of chips that I buy at Costco. And uh, these are organic tortilla chips. They also have ones called uh, multi-grain like with flaxseed kind of chips. I have some over there, but I forget. It's, I think it's by a company called Food Should Taste Good or Food Is Good or something like that. But anyways, the Costco Kirkland brand is really good as well. You can get into a bag of these for like, what, $4.70, which is a really big bag. And these tortilla chips are really, really good. I like to use this with salsa. I like to use this with guacamole. Um, and if I want to, you know, like I said earlier, if I wanted to protein spike it up, I'll use some cottage cheese. And if you're thinking like, man, salsa and cottage cheese, it sounds nasty. Trust me, you are wrong. 
All right, next food right here, we have grilled chicken strips, and these are in the package. You know, anytime that you want to get something down to super ready-made status, and let's say that you didn't grill a bunch of stuff beforehand, you Tupperware it all, which I am notorious for doing that, but sometimes I miss it, okay? Sometimes I miss doing that, and uh, miss as in like, I forget, right? So sometimes I have to get into things like this, just grilled chicken strips, they're sitting here in the package, um, I like them. The only thing I don't like about this is the cholesterol is a little high, but then again, I get my blood, you know, checked every year and my cholesterol is always fine. But, uh, this one we had 22% of your daily value, uh, with three ounces of this stuff, which is, you know, a little high, but three ounces will give you 22 grams. I, I, I still get into this. It's not like an everyday thing. It's probably like once a week. So this thing will last quite a while, but, uh, grilled chicken strips is just ready to go. Um, you know, if I decide I want to go do some work at a coffee shop or whatever and put together a really quick meal, I would at least consider doing this right here. Now, ready-made stuff that I really like getting into, rice. Like this is just an absolute staple to have. I like minute rice as well, but then that involves getting a bowl out. Sometimes the bowl spills over and it boils over and it you know, gets all over your microwave. Um, you know, plus you can burn yourself on the bowl if you're not careful. So you gotta be really, really careful with the minute rice stuff. But this is ready-made rice. It's just sitting in here and I'll do about a you know half cup for breakfast with some beans or a full cup at any given part of the day with some other types of meat. But lemon rice is just what they have at Costco. If this was brown or if it was white or basmati or whatever, like I would just pick that as well. Like it wouldn't matter. It just happens to be lemon rice. I'm not saying get lemon rice, but this is definitely one of the things that I buy at Costco. I definitely start ricing up, right? Like before I do something active, maybe four hours before something active that's gonna be prolonged, maybe an hour, an hour and a half ride, for example, then I would be, you know, one cup of rice into that about four hours prior, um, you know, or more, it depends. You can carb load a little bit, but I use stuff like this to do that. Another staple from Costco right here. I love these, they're made by Skulakis. I have no idea how to say this name, but we got basically some kebabs that are completely seasoned up. They're really good. Throw them on the grill. Um, this right here is about three meals to me. Like I just look at that and I go, that's about three meals. So I basically do two and a little bit, two and a little bit, uh, two and a little bit. Yeah. Or maybe, yeah, it's about three meals. So essentially I got these kebabs, very high protein. Of course, it's just chicken. Um, and they're easy to do. It's kind of a pain to peel the back of this. So if you know what this is and you've eaten this before, this exact product, it's kind of a pain in the butt to like open it up. But outside of that, it's a really good thing to have in the arsenal. Definitely saves you from going outside and buying chicken breast somewhere else, like at a restaurant. Like this is just really good. You know, it's good. It's cheap. I like it. So it's about eight bucks for one of these things. That's not bad. 100% pure staple in my house. You will never see my house without this. Guacamole is so important, but the right kind of guacamole. You don't want to have added dumb things in the guacamole. You want to have hot avocados. You want to have some spices some maybe some paprika, but you want to have, or paprika, I have no idea how to say that, but you want to have like pieces of tomatoes. That's okay. You just don't want anything weird like creams or butters or weird things. I don't even know if they put that in guacamoles, but what I'm trying to say is keep your guacamole simple. If you can make your guacamole every single day, then that's really, really good. My guacamole is one of those things that you can make. You can make it fresh if you have fresh house avocados, but if you know what I'm talking about, it's really hard to pinpoint exactly when those things get ripe. So I like just buying the tubs of them. I do have avocados here, but I like buying the tubs because it's easy, peel back, boom, and you start dipping your chips, you start doing whatever you want with it. I use this in breakfast, I use this in a lot of meals. Even if I'm gonna make grilled turkey with sweet potatoes, I will put this as you know, nearly like one of my sauces, like this, plus maybe some aminos, um, some brag aminos. Really good meal right there. So I always have this on deck in my house. One of these tubs, right? Um, has five Haas avocados inside of it. So that's really, really good. Scooped and blended and spiced and it's good. You know, like you try doing that with normal avocados and it takes a while to put it together. I could peel the back of this thing and I'd be eating in like two seconds. So that's the reason why I have this on deck all the time in my house. Of course, sometimes you just want plain avocados, like plain avocados with some spice on some toast, avocado toast, you know, whatever. Um, if you can pinpoint those one or two days perfectly where they stay right, then get into some avocados. I got five right here. I think this cost me seven or eight bucks, but yeah, you know, they're hard right now. They're definitely not even close to being ripe. So you definitely want to keep these outside of the fridge and kind of just touch them, you know, every couple days and see when it starts getting really nice and soft and your finger can actually depress into it. That's probably your sign to cut into the avocado, take the pit out, you know, and then start scooping it out. So avocados, definitely one of the things that you'll find at my house, 
but uh, second to guacamole. Like guacamole pre-made is definitely the first thing that you'll find in my house when it has to do with avocados. Next up we have frozen blueberries. I like getting into this. It's a little bit costly. It's about 16 bucks for this entire thing, but it's pretty heavy. I would say, I was gonna say it's about five pounds, but it's really four pounds, uh, a half cup on each smoothie that I make. Um, if I decide to uh, do a faya yogurt or a you know Greek yogurt and uh, agave kind of thing, and I wanna get some blueberries in there, I'd probably do about a cup. But in my smoothies, a half cup, stuff lasts pretty long, you know? Um, and these are wild blueberries too, so that's really, really good. It means no pesticides or anything like that. Definitely get into these. I think they're well worth the money. And plus you could argue that this is definitely one of the superfoods out there. Um, you'll find it on many of the lists saying it improves cognitive function and all that kind of stuff. So blueberries are really, really good for you. Okay, nighttime, you know, sometimes I don't want to do much prep for a meal. In a maintenance phase, I like kind of shifting my gears around five o'clock. Let's say I fall asleep around 10 or something. I'm mean, definitely gonna want some of those lighter options towards the end of the day. So I get into ready-made salads, which are pretty cool. And of course, ready-made salads come with all kinds of stuff and dressings and croutons and weird things. So, you know, you can piece together what you want because there's some things in here that, you know, I'm gluten intolerant, so I can't have them, but little crouton looking things like, forget it. Like, I'm just gonna toss that out. But the salad is really good. I try to get into the salads that have a dressing that is not terrible for you. So you don't wanna get into salads that have, um, you know, really bad ranch dressings or something like that. You want to get into something that has a little bit less calories or, um, you know, balsamic vinaigrettes or raspberry vinaigrettes, that kind of stuff. This one has a basil balsamic vinaigrette, perfect for that after five o'clock kind of, you know, mentality. So, you know, the foods don't stick to you while you're asleep. And that's basically the end of what I bought. I wanna give a huge shout out to PJ Miller. And it was because of this comment, I decided to film this video. So put a comment down below on something that you wanna see next on the Bod Damn channel. But right here, we have a PJ Miller comment that says, was hoping that you would show another Costco food trip. I always get good tips from those, thanks. So PJ Miller, there's your Costco food trip or some items that I picked up. Take it easy, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next Bod Damn video. Take it easy. Goodbye.